Like I've, 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 I've basically already started this. I've already started this. So what you, I've done, what, what I've got here is the same as the other Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I've got, okay? Yeah. So I have a size eight. This is a size eight Partridge Patriot double. Um, it's a size that I would never ever dream of fishing. It's a size eight. I would never go to a size eight. That's my own personal preference. Each to their own. Um, Partridge Patriot double black nickel. The rib and the wire, or the sorry, the tag and the rib. Is it just the Vanyard's silver wire? Is that one there? And then the body is just the holographic tinsel. So I'm just going to start here now and we'll, we'll crack on. So I just take my pencil up. I don't use super glue for the bodies or anything like that. Never really had a fly go away fall apart on me. Um, if the fly does fall apart, it's usually the angler's fault, the way he's taking it out of the fish's mouth. So I'm just going to catch it in. That away. Bring up my rib. Use not a white thread here because what I want to do is I'm gonna uh, break the head up. Maybe a bit of go great flow. So then you've just got your. Gray squirrel. You don't need too much of a gray squirrel. Just a small patch. That way. I, I do like the. You just put it on the gun if you wish. You don't have to be too fussy, but I, I do like the, the stack of squirrel. Length of the wing, that's really your own personal preference to use a tire, or if you're you're going to fish it, it's really up to yourself. I sort of way go anywhere between a length and a length and a bit. Like I say, up to you. I just offer that up. Then a nice tape turns, catch it in. It's always worth having a wee bag of it. I'm sure it's sitting for you. Then you can tighten them top. Good for a sharp scissors. Oh, you know, yes. hey, squirrels, you know, it doesn't definitely has a tendency to put out, so we like a super glue. We'll work here for you under the thread. And just to bring it down over the the pot ends. Any access, you can always just take it away. Oh. I'm going to add, I'm going to add a wee bit of flesh into this. And this here is just the, the blue micro flesh. So, the flesh isn't for everybody as well, but this rod likes a wee bit of flesh in it. Flies. That's another thing I should have said at the start. See what that in, in my experience. Anything really flashy. If any of these guys are ever coming over to the fish for them or coming over to an iron on a holiday to the Northern Ireland, you get the opportunity. Anything with a bit of flash in it will work. Bring that to length. In the front haggle, just a nice blue hand haggle. I'll just take away the rubbish from the bottom. Get the length that I want. Drop it up to the hook. Come around with a couple of turns. I'm going to lock it in with your thread. You bring it back up again. Bring away the tip. And like I say in the YouTube videos, just turns a haggle is really a preference. 
the way you want to dress, in my view. But with it being a hand haggle, basically, you know, two turns should be usually enough. If I wanted to make it a wee bit uh, sparser, what I usually do is just turn away one end of the, uh, or sorry, one side of the, the haggle. And we'll just come around, just catch the stem. I just forget everything else at the moment. It's easy to tidy it up. Just sweep everything else back. And then come in and just tie everything down. See, when you're threading nice and tight, you should be able just to bring away the stem of the haggle. And I'll find my, my finishing tool. Just come in and go in a little bit. Thread. And then we'll come up there. Do a bright gloss number. Do a bright gloss number four. On a decent head on a drive for the, the dog too. That's part of it. I just keep my thread tight. I'm assuming you all know how to whip finish. Which took me ages to get the hang of. Yeah, just pull that tight. Run pull that away. Get the tag in. Nice and tight. Take that away. That's just a squirrel, silver, and blue. Then what I do like to use super glue is just on the heads of the flies. Just to sort of way finish everything off. Did you say that's for Dullahan? Just a, that this one here, yep. This is for the Dalican. Yeah. Right. Right. This is this is actually a I'm near sure that this is in the fly the um just looking at it here. The flies of wheels. I'm near sure that this is maybe a Mock Morgan fly at one point. I don't quote me on that. You might have to look that up, but this here hundred percent works works for Dalican. And don't want to cut my I can just show you. I'm on my phone here, one wee second. Apologies. He's been uh that really slathering fish on on the on this on the on the voluntary where they oh. seem to have got a run of Dalton. He sent me to, he sent me this and uh Monday evening. And uh he just asked me, I don't know if you can see it. That's it there. I don't know if you can see it. It's been completely chewed to bits. And that's all you need. It, it, it's you, you don't need to be thinking to yourself, oh, I'll need to tie up uh, what's known as falcon flies and such thing. So we'll just take that out and then we'll start with the next one. So the next thing I'm going to do for you guys is the uh, the great sea trout pattern. I've also take brown trout during uh, the mayfly season over here. In Ireland, three <laughs> fly here works well in that far more lake. So the hook I'm putting under the vase is a Amazon B one seven five. It says ten. We'll get that under the vase. The thread I'm going to use to tie the fly is the uni thread eight o. And mahogany. So we we'll come in, get the thread started to come all behind the other hook. Work our thread down. Until you're past the point of the hook, then you move, move the waist tag of thread. The tail, this is just the uh, golden, or sorry, hawk pheasant fiber. 
that I tied myself with tied a, a nice rich bark. Now, when I'm tying my flies, if somebody is seeing my flies on Facebook or whatnot, I never use three fibers because this is probably the weakest fiber that's going to go onto the fly. We got to compensate for catching fish, and this does work this way. The length of the tail, I said in the first fly, really up to your shells. I probably go a length and a half to two lengths of the hook over the back, just catch it in, and then work the thread down onto the tail. I'll come in and just trim that away. The rib, uh, back to find the arch, oval silver tinsel. This is the day's 14 that I am using. I'd like to make sure everything's tied in. You know, most people will just take their thread forward sometimes just an open loop. I'd like to make sure everything's solid. And then I can bring the thread back and one turns the end, just tied up against the, the tail. The body. Got it. Yep. So I've started using these guys rather than seeds for. Um, and by no way is this a deal to pitch. I, don't know Frankie McFox. Frank most of you have made a herd of Frankie. Frankie's from uh Fermanagh, maybe from Anna, Northern Ireland. But his dubbins are absolutely first class. So basically the one we're going to use here is to lift it all out and get us going with the dark for it. Good stuff to work with. I don't use any wax when I'm dubbing either. Just get it started. Just slide it up. Once you get it anchored onto the hook, then you can take it up. Just leave yourself a good. What size hook are you doing, please? Onto the hook here. What's that, Derek? What, what size hook was it again, please? This is a size 10 Amazon B175. So just up to the length of the body. Once you get up to there, just sweep everything back at once and go forward. Bring her back. The body haggle. This is a, a Nats. Really uh, grizzle that I've just given it a put it through like a not a dye but it's more like a, a white of the of a of a tea blue dye. So just looking at a nice haggle for this. Very short haggles. Just offer it up to the hook. Just pull that wee stump back. That just locks in your, your haggle for you. Just trim that away. And then we're just going to palmer this down the body. So we three or four turns at the shoulder of the fly. And then when you're dressing our each lock flies, it's really your own personal preference. How many turns, uh, in my view, you put down the body. It also depends on what conditions you're going to fish. So if you're going to fish in a big wave, you know, in my view, you want to put down as many as you can. So just keep a hold of the tip of the, the, sorry, the, the remainder of the haggle. Follow this around with your full silver tinsel. More turns or so up through the body. Bring that in front. Only that around with your thread. Got a nice take turns just to catch that all in. Come in, come away the 
a little solar and bring away the stem. And then I just a wee bit of Velcro always helps. Just to bring out some of the, the dubbing into the plaque. Then the front tackle on this one, guys. This is just a, a teal blue. I mean, I'm going to show up against the a little bit closer so you can see it's a teal blue French partridge. Um, I'll usually dye my own bit of a, a tan. I usually get these off a, a guy on Facebook there, uh, Andrew Humphreys, with Blob and Buzzer. Andrew's up in uh, the Mavati direction in Northern Ireland. Uh, like I said about the first fly in relation to teal blue in summer, if you want to dress it sparse, you can always just take off one side. All right, about that. Or the shot there. You can always just take off the side that's going to contact the hook. Um, sometimes it's good to have them dress both ways, a wee bit sparser and a wee bit more, not heavier. You, you can't overdress an Irish little guy, in my view. They're just nice and pushy. So we'll just offer that up to the hook with the, the tip of the haggle over the eye. Take a couple of turns. Hold the tip back, and then I just work the tip of the haggle back, or sorry, the thread back up over the tip of the haggle. Then you can come in and break that away. And then I usually take a turn and a half, two turns of this haggle. Ranch Partridge has been used for these donkey's years. On uh, Irish lock flies. Great versatile haggle because you can get the colours that you like. I'm just going to have a wee check here. I don't think that could do with another turn for me. So that's three turns basically. Two and a half and catch it off under. Catch that off. Right around with your thread, with eight turns in that. I want to fold the stem back. You don't want to create bulk. So you can just rip off the remaining fibers on the stem. Just come back and fold everything back. Don't be, be shy with the head on a fly. Everybody's obsessed with tan. Flies with small heads. Keep your thread tight. And bring away the stem. And then just come straight up with your whip finishing tool. Just tidy up the remainder of the head. Keep your thread tight. And then bring away your tan thread. There you go, guys. That's the, the blue aurora. A wee fly there. Great fly for if you fish any of the locks. I think it's you know, guys are lock anglers that fish locks with sea trout. Come into it. And just to finish off, we drop a super glue. Now, after a super glue, the head of flies, I always come in and stick on two coats of varnish. Because Seen it myself with my own flies over the years where I didn't varnish them. Uh, it, they will take a, a moisture glue and go white at the front. Then just make sure the eye is clean. And that's the blue Aurora. Hey, everybody happy enough? Yep. They're all on mute. So, take us out. Yeah, yeah, thumbs up from feet. Very oh, nice. Oh, the oh, are there? Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> all right. <Ailey. laughs> You're all right. Right. So, next one, we'll do the, uh, get the hook in the face here and we'll make a space on the, on the bench. The next fly I'm going to tell you, you've probably heard of this before too, in magazines and some of the other, probably tires you've, you've had on the, on your wee lane stream for the club. Um, is the gorgeous George. Excellent pattern. I would say this would work on the 
on the reservoirs too in England. So just get rid of that. I think they work everywhere, don't they? Oh, it's over there. Ah, gorgeous George, great, great. I'm going to tad for you here in a size ten because the way I like to fish the gorgeous George, I'll I'll fish this probably in the in the middle, um, of a Hema three, uh, if I'm on the lakes of Loch Erne. Excuse me. Um, if I'm round, I'll fish it over the Malvern. I'll tad on a size twelve and uh, fish it that then on the on the top dropper. So just making a bit of room for myself here, guys. Right. Okay. So there's many as Thai um Irish flies at all or face them or anybody on the call tie any of the Irish stuff? I haven't done myself, but I think some of the other lads do. Yeah. We have flies, Irish look flies and it's always been my view if you can uh tie an Irish lock fly. Near enough to have anything you like. Okay, so the gorgeous George. First of all, you need to put a tag on this. And the tag is a low grade floss, number four. So just usually go down, just get it started sort of way at the end of the hoop. Always usually take about seven or eight turns, break away the the tag end and then just work the thread or sorry the floss upon these back up again then you can just come in with your whip finishing too and just slice in a whip finish and your thread tie and take away the, the floss now you gotta protect that so you just can do that with a different way you use like um i'm just going to use a wee bit of uv resin the light version of the resin. Just get rid of that. Get rid of the needle. Know that there's a UV resin. Or I should not do. Any access, you don't want to create the reservoir very idle underneath the, the bend of the hoop. Then we'll just come in. In your thread. And again, you could you could use a white thread, which I do between hangs, and then just tidy up at the the end of the fly with the no bright floss number four again. However, I will just use the uni thread made old fire orange. So yet again, just leave yourself your time this wee fly. Just always with very slow flies, just leave myself uh, plenty of room at the top of the hook. Um, I don't believe there's a hard and fast rule for you. You need to start your thread at the eye and work it back because you're basically going back and go forward. It's always been my view. Just catch it in, work the thread down, sort of went on top of the point of the hook, move the waist tag, then the tail on the original pattern, the rasp wool. I'm just going to use the low grade floss, number 11. What I do, I just take this the times where my fingers break it off, then I just come in from it, take the fibers, put them on the finger and thumb, really. We straggly bit very small, and just offer it up to the hook. Thanks to the deal on these two, uh, it's really a personal preference as well. One of my boat partners who I would fish with on Carmore, he would use this for the Atlantic salmon. He would leave his tail that long. For me, I don't make it that long, so I just come at it in a way. You know, 
الكلام I think the sound is gone, Scott. Oh, has the sound got has the sound gone on again? No, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm a, I'm a back. Yeah, you're back. Okay, Derek. Yeah, can you yeah, hear me? Yeah. yeah. So what was what I was saying there? I just I, I like to keep the um I like the tidy little tilt in the same length that I cut the uh low grade floss, and that's simply. Hopefully you can see this. I don't know if I can still zoom in or can't. So to me, it just balances the fly up. It's it's just always the way that I've tied. And it basically it secures the ribbon a wee bit better. I see some folk who there's nothing wrong with it. It's just their tan style. They'll catch in the oval silver tinsel here. But you're still going to have to tie up the length of the hook. The the catch in your low grade floss, unless you trim the low grade floss off here, in which you shall create a slap, and you're just going to have to fill um, with, with more dumping. It's always been my view. So I'm just going to work my thread back and just do not turns at this point. I'll work tight up against the, the tail. It's worth having a wee check then at that point there. So the body. You're gonna, you can use it like a yellow, uh, a yellow olive dubbing, hanging back the, the traditional Irish dubbing. And what I like to do here is take probably about 50% uh, golden olive, and then just to cut the wee plucks, maybe about an, another 50% of the uh, medium olive, and then I just mix these. Any wax, just think you have greater control for the fly. Now, see if you're just going to tie this fly, guys. Don't, don't, uh, my headset, I'll go a wee bit there. I don't worry if I see the bar orange thread coming through, but it's, it's just a part of the fly. everything back to bring your your thread in the front and body hackle I use this I've dyed this myself this is a just a, an old hack saddle kit and what I've done is I've dyed it uh, a touchy yellow or touchy yellow and then I've put in the, the brick acid um if you're going to use pick brick acid just be careful just make sure you've got gloves and stuff on so we'll just take away the hackle I like a decent haggle on the fly here for the body. So, just buff it that up. That's wrong, guys, actually. <laughs> the body haggle on this is the golden olive, or I'll say yellowy, golden olive, hack haggle. Apologies. Getting carried away myself. That's the green version of it. There's a green version of this fly too. This this haggle here that I'm using, this is a, a it was a barred ginger, match grade too. And I just dyed it a golden olive. So just yet again, looks like I did with the, the other fly. I'm always catching the stem from the back. And then I just trim that away. Same as the, the last the blue aurora. There's a haggle. Really up to you. I always sort of go with other two or three turns body, or sorry, at the shoulder of the fly, meaning the, the top of the body, and then 
I don't need more five turns down the valley. Let's buy this room with my little gold. Cast everything in. In about four turns. Then sweep everything back. Bring the thread up. Turns to jump. Set that in focus. And then turn that away. Away the hack for the bag. Turn it again. I think it's up to the balco again. Everything back. Point here now, so we just the thread's ready at the eye. So just get the beta thread down then for the the next set of materials that we're gonna put on. Ah, uh, there's legs on this fly. Oh. You're looking you can clean out a thousand tail legs or you can add them uh your shells uh, if you wish. So make sure you can see it a wee bit better. So these are the pre-natted ones that I get from Vanyards. What I've been doing recently is buying the uh, back pheasant teals, the natural teals, the way that they are, and then bleaching them, and then basically extracting the natural colour out of the out of the feather, and then dyeing them straight through colours. Um, Kind of relaxing the flies for gentleman in Scotland. And he wanted legs on the other very, very good fly, the Yip McLaren. And the yellow leg, just straight through yellow, they seem to have worked for him. So, this pattern here in releasing the legs, you can make this as leggy as you like. You can add on as many, or as, in my view, uh, that you, you, you wish. This is just four each. Um, you want the leg coming past your tail. So we just offer these up to the hook. Just coat them on with loose aids. Bring up a couple of loose turns and move. Just bring them up the ground. And then just take them. Just have a wee check. Enough of that, so I'm just trying to take away the back. Maybe the legs aren't that always bring them in. long haggle. On this you can use a just a straight through Chinese pack haggle. Dyed an olive or a medium olive. So I'm gonna catch that in by the tip. Hold the tip back. Bring the thread back up over the tip from the haggle. Just lay my fingers back, tip up and out, break that away. And just make a wee blend with the scissors. And the turns are up to you with the fly thread for it. Just make sure that whatever turns you're taking on, you're leaving sufficient space because there's a. I'm going to put a wee throw pack on. Uh, Side orange chain is there. So three or four turns. This is going to be enough. Back down to the eye of the hoop. Do the way I did with the top 
papers. Reduce the bulk. Back. And then put the thread back on. And take the thread weight stamp. You're just looking to take a few wee pinches with the skinny ferret. Scott? Yeah, yep. Yeah. What other colours do you like to tie the George in? Um, you can, I, I like the George, the green George, um, Steve. So I do. Um, right. And I also like the George. I also like the George tied through uh, at Mayfly Tide. Is yeah. straight through go pull off, um everything every I would the what I would do is Steve the Mayfly time for the urn if I'm fishing it I would still have the tag um as a blue bright floss number four right I would change the tail I would change the tail out for a blue bright floss number eight which is more like a sunburst color yeah yeah and then every and then everything else would be uh. Golden olive, even the uh, even the the pheasant tail. So that's a pheasant tail there. Yeah, yeah. That has been dyed golden. So I would just preen out the legs myself. But however, the front hackle, I would make a golden olive uh hen hackle. And that's but it works well on the mayfly. Oh geez, <laughs> save you tie it on a size twelve, um, and you can get over the fish. And you're 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 seeing a wee pot of fish, and you can get over them. It, 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 it's great tied and golden olive. Aye. Through. Now I got that, that yet again, guys. Listen, I'm no uh, I'm no master. That's I, that fly. I seen that fly on a on a on a, on a large cast. Um, had to be about seven years ago, and he was slathering fish on it. So you know, it, 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 my hand to me is just trailing her, but. It, and the golden olive, Steve, the answer to your question, that's a great colour. And the green too. If you're ever coming over the green, the green, I believe, is a great fly for the, the coral. So I've just yeah. got my skinny fair and orange. And then the amount of orange that these guys want to put in, it's up to your sale. sale. And if you don't have guinea food, just use orange cock hanger or hen hanger. It doesn't have to be guinea fair and a laugh at that too sometimes, you know. Have to use all the correct stuff. If you don't have it, the fish will still take it. Then the throat, I like a a decent false haggle on this. So just catch it in, pinch and loop. Take a couple of turns to make sure. Have a wee check, make sure it's sitting right for you, not sitting straight underneath as you can get it. And then just kind of black the three things. George is one of those very top two. I think they make that really top. Yeah. The day with the original version of the song, who is? This is a of the jungle pack. I, you're not looking at anything for the way too big. So you're saying, Harry Scott says, Fly, this is where you can get away with using some of the smaller jungle cat. It may help when you're if you're like me and you like really small salmon flies, which I do, I love say fourteen salmon flies are equal. What it is just take the two eyes together. Get them lined up. Just the best that you can. You may move when you get them onto the hoop. Just after them up to the hoop. The and then just connect them. And just turn. And just this is the way you're, you're sitting.
I seem like a lot more George, like I say, in high atmos, many colors as you like, but you may not get really that far. So, it's a George, and as you can see, when you're when you're tanning the, the sort of way the Irish stay like this, it's, uh, all the colors are very bright, but they're all you know mainly olives, golden olives, and and stuff like that. There, so that's the George. So we've done the silver and blue squirrel, which is good for the Taliban over here. Uh, the blue aurora, which if you fished for sea trout, it's absolutely well worth tying. If you don't like uh, the tack pheasant tail florid on the blue aurora, you can always swap that out for one of the glow bright flosses. Um, I would probably suggest the number three is always quite good uh, for it. But it's an excellent taker of sea trout. Anybody, any questions or anything, guys, that just want to ask? Or you are probably more proficient in this art than I am, but happy to have a chat. If anybody wants to unmute themselves and have a chat. Oh, gone quiet, Scott. Has it? Yeah. Well, I do watch a lot of you on YouTube, Scott. So, oh, do uh, you, Tony? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, Thank you. Well, ho hopefully, hopefully you're getting um, uh, <laughs> information from the from the videos. Um, oh, you, you always pick up yeah. bits and pieces or... Oh. Or remind you of something you've forgotten about. Yeah, absolutely. And and do you want to know what Tony? That's what the that's what the channel's for. Because funny enough, the last time that Derek invited me on, that's that's a pleasure to be on again this evening. Uh, Derek invited me on, but couldn't get the <laughs> I couldn't get my audio working, so it was like a meme artist at one point. But <laughs> uh, well, me and Derek had it. Me and Derek had a good chat. Yesterday, yesterday afternoon, when we were just doing a wee bit of a test to get stuff up and going, and um, see my YouTube channel, guys. That's all it's for. It's just for information purposes. It's just to help people who are new, who may want to get into the hobby of fly tying, which I think everybody should, if you can, if you you know, if you don't have a health condition or disability in relation to your hog, your eyes. Um, I don't believe in such things, Tony. Is oh, I, I can't buy flies. And your evil flies will catch just as many as my flies or your flies or anybody else out there who's, who's a great fly tire. Their flies will just work just as good, you know. Well, I, I do agree with you that, I mean, say, I used to be one that got to have the right stuff to tie a certain pattern. Yep. But now I've, I've yep. gone off that now, having spent a fortune. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't agree with that now. Just tie with what you've got. Um, absolutely, absolutely. You know, absolutely. I've, I've always been, I've always been a great believer in that. Just basically, um, high with what you have. The, you know, that all this, you know, can out make. I mean, I buy all the sort of way the good materials simply because 
David Matan for myself, which I have boxes and boxes of flies. And, you know, basically, I think I'm carrying around jewelry boxes at one point. Um, I've sort of way cut down the fly selections, but I would tie loads of flies, obviously, for most of the Irish boys and face the locks and uh, stuff like that. But to see him, you know, when someone contacts me and says, oh, Daddy, would you tie me up a half a dozen of this? The first thing I say to him is tie them yourself, you know, get yourself a deep face and work away. And you'll have, to me, you have more enjoyment out of catching a fish on a fly that you've tied yourself rather than being tied from by somebody else. Well, I'm just grateful for a that... tug on the end of the line. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless <laughs> who's... Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, I, well, I, I wish I could... Uh, sorry, go ahead. I think the fly's... Got I, the, I, tub, I was... the fly's got two jobs. It's got to convince you to put it on, 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 on your tippet and if you're not satisfied mm -hmm. with it, you won't use it. But it won't make a scrap yep. of difference to the fish. But you've got to put no. it on the in the first place. Absolutely. I, I, absolutely. I, I subscribe to that view 100%. If you've got confidence in the fly, you, you'll probably catch more fish. Absolutely. Yeah, correct. But like I say, it, to me, it, it, to me it, you know, it doesn't matter what the fly looks like. If, if the fish are there and you're over the top of them, whether that's low tail fishing um, or that's salmon angling you're in with a shoot like you know yeah yeah and you're in with a shoot you know is there anything else you want to see tied before i go mm. we we got plenty of time so anything you fancy tying do you want me do you want me to tie as an irish shrimp fly oh yeah yeah, yeah. Go on. let's go for it yeah what one do you want to see do you want me to tie do you want me to tie the apache yeah, go on. Right. Just listening, just listening to what you were saying, then Scott. Yeah. On the Irish Irish side, there's a lot of emphasis, um, certainly put on the shades of your clarets and olives. Um, you know, Jackie's yeah. Jackie Mahon's doing a lot of dyeing, and Frankie's Frankie's colours. Yep. Um, what importance do you put on that? Um, if I'm if I'm honest with you, Steve. There, there's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. Chum the T pickwick uh, that the, the pickwick acid, it, it, it works. That that hundred percent work. Um, Frankie McPhillips, like I said, I, I don't know if you tuned in or you were you had joined at the start. I don't know. No, Frankie, a little. Uh, I'm sorry. Frankie, I'm late, but I believe I believe he's an absolute um gentleman. But I have to say this, and like I say, it's not a sales pitch. You see Frankie McPhillips, uh traditional Irish dubbings. If you're tan Irish lock flies, I would suggest that you get them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, yeah. Your 40 colors colours and the word sort of way authenticated. I don't know if any of you guys on the call were maybe be aware of, or maybe have ever met uh Ed Malone. Um Ted Malone was another absolutely fantastic fly tire from Northern Ireland. I think, I think Ted was an author of two books. Mm. Um, uh, Irish Trout and Salmon Flies. Um, I think there's another one. Uh, I don't mean to be able to die, but there's another one that, that he wrote. Um, he, he's, an, he's an absolute gentleman. And uh, you couldn't have met a nicer guy. But to answer your question, Steve, um, the Pickwick olives and the golden olives are, are colours that I would basically use myself and my own fighting, particularly at Mayfly team. Particularly at Mayfly team. Yeah. Sorry, Brian. Sorry, Fiery guys, Brown's go ahead. Say again, Adam? Fiery brown is important colour too. Oh, yeah. Me, me personally, Brian, I, 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 it's one color that I, I don't really have on the box much of. Um, I'm more of a, a deep red. I like a, a nice deep red. Yeah. Sort of way toward, towards that color. But like, like, listen, 
it's 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 basically each of their own, you know. Yes. Yeah. Like I say, it's to me, it's all it's all it's all personal. It's all personal preference, right? Huh? But it's only a matter of time until there's no sales for, isn't it? You see, you got to got to find something else. Well, that 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 that's that's what Adam, you're, I'll tell you, you're right because I have, I think I'm doing the last about ten packets of different colors of seals for. But yeah, that, honestly, honestly, yeah, I well, it's, and it works. Them, as, it feels the same, doesn't it? You've got, yeah, you've got forty eight colors. That's numbers thirteen to twenty four. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, and the other box there is thirty seven to forty eight, and I have to be honest with you, it's just as good. There's, you know, it's just as good as seals for. And as you what about say, this alpaca? Do what do you write? Do you write that alpaca? Um, mm. I don't use it personally. I don't have mm. it. Uh, I have never used it, so I, I, I wouldn't have a view on it. I wouldn't have a view on it. But I see most guys, most of the Irish tires now, some most of the employees are um, are using it. But it, 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 would, it wouldn't be for me. I haven't, I haven't tried it. I'll maybe, I'll maybe buy some. Try it, Adam. Yeah, it is. It is it's nice. It's all right. Is it? Is it good stuff? Yeah, it is. It's nice. And dubs yeah. nice. Soft as well. Dubs all nice. Nice and soft. Yeah. Is it is it is it is it cheaper is it is it cheaper or dearer than cheaper, some of the other dubbings? Cheaper. cheaper, yeah. And who does that again? What company does that? Oh, there's a, over in Ireland. There's there's no there's no end. Icona. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, I've seen that guy on Facebook with Daisy Daisy Paul. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's not a good fly dresser. Right. I'm just well, there's a few of the lads that sell materials in Ireland that do the alpaca. They just they do brand Is it. Is there? Under, yeah, they just brand it under their own. Right. We need a yellow. We need a, it's a nice red with a, the Apache. Um, let me nip up here, guys, and I'll get the flosses. I think it's a Vicuna. Uh, they do Vicuna. Uh, yeah. Is that who do, are they? Do they solely do it, Derek, or is there? I used to get mine off Lawrence. Say again, Adam. I used to get mine off Lawrence Finney. I've still got. <laughs> Magazines of it. <laughs> Jesus, Lawrence says it with us no more. No. no, that's right. Yeah, no, I've had it a long time. Sweet. Lawrence, nor good fly tire, nor good fly tire. Lawrence, funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, we just need to change that straight over, guys, or not? Yeah, I used to go and stay over at Moira. I used to tie a lot with him. Yeah, they shade Lisburn. Yeah, Mora. Yeah. yeah. No, I used to go and have a week and tie and go fishing. Yep. No, he's good. He's good fly dresser. There's a whole lot of good fly dressers out there, guys. Well, yeah. He talked quite a few. You want to You want to dress your own? I'm not. Uh, I'm a great believer in that. But you, you can't hide. Right. So the Apache. So when I'm telling the Apache, it's just to keep the body. Sort of way the two rear and the front body nice and bright. I start off with uni three eighty and we do white basically we own personal preference. I'll pad all this it's just because I've got size eight uh, on my desk here. So size eight part reach paper double. Just get our thread started. The tag and the rib. On the Apache. This is my this is my father in law, excuse me, that originally got me in the old nonsense. Uh, and this is his favorite fly, is the Apache. So that's our oval silver tinsel. And I just catch that in, and then basically a rule of thumb, you know, anywhere between the point and the barb of the hook, 
is really a good place to stop. I want to say easy. I'll take five turns of the oval silver tinsel. We have the tag. Bring the last turn. In between the two hooks. And then we just tighten into that. And more the base. Then we thread back down to the, the tag. Uh, get again, personal preference skin, length of the tail for the golden pheasant. Uh, it's really up to you. Want to say easy, sort of wave on a decent length is what I think. Take away all the rubbish. There's a material that's not easy to find now. Who's that? So that's a material that's not easy to find now, the golden pheasant skins. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. If you if you're on my Facebook page, I actually um uh bought eight. I got I got them delivered today. Um, if you go onto my fly time page, I found there was a guy doing a bit of a clear out of materials. Um, he's on Facebook there. He has some great stuff. If you say classics, his name is Elliot Lexi Elliot. Um, and I got eight, eight skins off him. Uh, they were delivered today. Oh, I saw. So I saw. Basically, did you see that? Yeah. So Aye. basically, I always like this about a length and a half to two lengths. The hook. Yet again, it's my own personal preference. Um, the my tan style. So just offered up. Room with a couple of turns. Go back to the, the tip. I've bought too way. much from Lexi in the last month. <laughs> well, hey, I have to, I have to be honest with you. Is I was expecting them. I didn't know what I was expecting to be honest. I thought to myself, I wonder what these are like. But I took a punt on them. They're, they're quality. They're absolute quality. Yeah, well, it's so, it's it's not his stuff. Is it was his granddad's who died. His granddad was a it, top salmon dresser called Ivan. They, um, hang on, might be Ivan Banks. Okay, well, uh, I have to Cumbria. ask you, from Cumbria. He, yeah, he, he, nice lad too. Really, really yeah, nice lad. Yeah, no, really I, nice I lad just too. bought all his bustard and all his. Um, <laughs> all his turkey you've got in there, um, and all his orders, yeah. amongst other things. <laughs> Is that I was tempted to buy some of the, uh, some of the kingfisher, but. Uh, I think he said tell me it was all the way at that point. So look, I'm just using up the basically the full haggle, full quote of the haggle there. Um if you're gonna if you don't tie Irish shrimps and you're thinking about tying them, most people get extremely frustrated in relation to the tail. I don't. Just see if it wants to wrap around in itself. Just let it work away. Um I'll just come in and brush it out once you're finished. Then what I like to do is to strengthen the fly. To work the thread forward to the halfway point because then break away the stem to make sure that the haggle is in tied in correctly. His grandfather didn't have some, have some yeah. stuff. I think Steve Cooper took 175 jungle cocks and he's still got loads left. My goodness me, good for the message. He must have tied some. Could put a message then asking what the guy's name was. Yeah, I saw that. I'll pass it to her later. But I don't think he's got too much left because I bought most of it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so we're coming back in, guys, and catching in the rib. We're getting two parcels oh, delivered every day for about the last week or so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> very good. And then the rear body, the rule of thumb on these Irish shrimp hunters has always been um, the light colour to the rear. However, what I would suggest if you fish for salmon, um, this will work. Um, this was actually told to me by an elderly gentleman on the River Derg about 15 years ago, uh, Leslie. He tied the Apache with the red at the back, the red floss. The red haggle at the back 
and he swerved by it that way rather than the, the original way it had so for the rear just do you need for us uh bright yellow also the flosses it's good to use for too is the the actual glow bright to make it a bit of a glow bright patchy shrimp we'll just catch that in and just work it forward Loss with an overlapping purge. Inner body. Three turns of the full silver tinsel should the lamp Then your mid haggle. I'm using a, you can just use a straight three yellow, guys. This is just a, a fluorescent yellow Chinese pack haggle. I'm using. I like the, the haggle, the sort of way the mid haggle bleed in. The, you know. Some people like it tied short, believe it or not. Some people like their, their tails long and then the, the mid on front haggle. Just tied it a little bit shorter. I'm just going to come in and throw back the tip again in this haggle. Rule of thumb going by most of the, the Irish dressers is three turns of the, the mid haggle. That in. And I like the tip away the favor. Bring it forward. Bring the dam. Go back to the open silver tinsel. Some of the things I see too when the guys, some guys are maybe even starting off tan or dressing the the Irish shrimp flies as they'll climb up on to the the mid haggle to get the so haggle sort of way to, to sit back. Uh, I just hatched very tight up against the mid haggle because once this has had a swim, everything's gonna uh, go back for you. Then the, the front body, you can use a straight through red floss. I love this stuff. Chinese red. Uh, so I'm going to use this for the, the front. Check. Three turns of the double silver tinsel at the front. That way, and the head on the patchy black finish. Remember from the same stuff, just uni thread, head on black, and then over the top of it. Way the waist, and you're just looking at a nice bright red. Or, sorry, bright red cock haggle or hen haggle.
This is actually a any of these guys know which are in the Mary Shrimp stay patterns. This is a Bert Atkinson fly. The fish to fix a arm roll on the bottom. Mopa from excellent Mary Shrimp patterns. Bert Atkinson, another great fly tire. Northern Ireland, Joe MacDonald. Up with some great um, patterns as well. I'm just bringing the, the haggle around. Obviously, those touch and turns. And I usually just stick to the same that I've done for the mid haggle. That's three turns in the front. I like this room. Great. Just catch it in. This back as well, guys, just for throwaway strength. Bring it back up just over the top. Nice and tight. And the thread tight would break away the, the stem. Right? That there is the original Apache. Well, the original Apache didn't have jungle cock on it. But I do like a wee bit of JC. So, you guys here. Near enough need to remortgage your house these days to buy jungle cut. Price of it. Anybody bought any recently? Yeah, from Steve Cooper. It loads. Yeah. <laughs> I bought one from Christine at the BFFI, which was absolutely a cracker. From Chevron. Yep. She grows her own. It's the yeah. only one who grows them in the UK. Right. Okay. So just offering these up to the team. Pinch them onto the hoop. Then at this point, just come around with. A couple of loose turns, really, just to see what way you're sitting. When you want on the Apache, you want them up in, or if your reference is, you can have them down the side. Just give them a wee shunt to the side to get them to sit for you. Then you can tighten up with another couple of turns. Don't worry about the angles, drivers underneath. You want to sweep, sweep them back. Just come in. And Sort of way, just concentrate down in the jungle cut, and then just building up the, the head. Keep the thread tight, keep the thread keys away, so it'll give you a neater cut, and then just do another finish. Apache guys. Finish off with a wee tiny drop of super glue. Onto the head. Beautiful time, Scott. There you Beautiful. go, guys. That's the that, that's the that's the Apache. And you can like I say, there's very shrimp flies or Really nothing to them. You just break them up into three sections. Do your rear, your tail. That's your sort of way your first wee fly. Mids, your second wee fly. And then the, the end section, your, your top body and hangle, is your your last wee fly, if you like. That's how I look at it, you know. Um, and these come in all different colors. I mean, there's an excellent pattern. If you're into your salmon fishing, that's tied by Joe McDonald, and I absolutely love the fly. It's called the Purgatory Shrimp. And so, if you have, uh, isn't it Chris Mann had a book? Uh, geez, for the name of it, uh, 
the illustrated dictionary of salmon flies, and you'll find some of Joe's things in there too, um, relating to both Irish shrimp flies and they come in all sorts of um, colours, and they just work. Irish shrimp patterns just work. So they do. There's one that I have I tied myself uh, called Eddie Shrimp. That, I think I put that up on my, my YouTube channel. And that's basically one of the only flags that I keep on my cast throughout the, the whole year, even for fresh fish when they're starting to enter the 40 system. Um, it, it just works. And I think it's because I was saying to Adam earlier, he bred. I, I'm, I'm. That's my own personal preference. It's just I'm a great believer in deep red for for salmon flies. Um, but there you go, guys. I hope you have got something from them. Few flies that are tied for you. Um, and I Scott for inviting me on. Yeah. Can you just re rotate the fly for us so I can see the top and the, there's two jungle clock. Yeah. So so see see, oh, so see the way they're just root. You just you just sort of way want the want the roof those Neil. You know that that's the way. The, the sort of way the original was tied now. Nice, so, thanks. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, just gonna say, guys, see for the love of me, I don't understand why you would roof jungle cut because a salmon is seeing this from underneath, you know. But anyway, look, but that most of the most of the Irish shrimp flies. If you, I don't know if I have a copy of that book. I think I do. The, the Smalls book. If you don't have a copy, absolutely bad. If you're into salmon dressing, um, I think you can get it for about twenty pounds. Uh, and you'll get all the Irish trim patterns in there, and you'll see where they've roofed them. Some of the original patterns also uh give you the 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 dressing as the jungle cock in before the front paddle. There's loads like that. Uh, the fork and shrimp. Um, is, a, is another great fly uh, for, for the river falcon, but that, that'll work on all the Irish rivers as well. So, well, so there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully, like I say, hopefully, as I've got something from it, I've enjoyed there, I've enjoyed that tonight. Eh? Fantastic, Scott. Thank you very much indeed. Scott, Scott, Scott. Yeah. very good. Absolutely. Yep, yep. You, you, said you don't use jungle cock yourself. Is that on every pattern? Because it sounds like I don't either on mine, only for sign for display. Pat, I'm going to tell you, you're going to think I'm a wee bit of a twat here. <laughs> Me personally, I will not fish a salmon fly unless it's got jungle cock on it. Right. I will not put, and but that's me. That's just me. There's there's boys. I have uh, a couple of boys that I've taken salmon fishing and showed them the, the river there. Uh, showed them where to go. Showed them pools. Show, and I'm not a gate. I'm not a gate. Um, and showed them pools and stuff. And um, you know they'll fish Irish shrimp flies. They will fish garish patterns. They're in pools that have no jungle cut on, and they get fish. And they still get fish, absolutely. Jungle, the, ju look, see jungle cock. Jungle cock for me is to catch the eye of the angler. That's all it's for. Yeah. No, I tend to agree. I mean, I think I don't, I don't use it on me fishing flies as I felt I didn't need to. But for yeah, the looks yep. of the fly and following the pattern, I do use it. Yeah, um, well, look, you know, I know you're. I, I, you're absolutely right. It, the, the cost of it. So, I mean, if you're tan flies, as you probably know, commercially, I mean, if you're tan these fishing flies commercially for use, I mean, you're putting two jungle cock on of your tan a dozen or two dozen. You're probably putting an extra pound on per fly. Yeah. The, I would see it for the cost of the jungle cock. You know, and I was in the Belfast Angling Centre what about like six weeks ago, and I just, I just walked past the, the way. I'll well, not mention the name of the company. The flies that they're selling, and my goodness me, I couldn't believe it. Five pound fifty for a salmon fly. If I put two of them up a tree, I would be waiting across that river to get the two flies back again. <laughs> uh, seriously, I would. Um, but the next time I'm on, 
here's a wee fly here. I would like to tie you the next time. If Doric invites me back. Yeah, you're welcome anytime. Um, this one here, this is a grilts. This is the grilts fly. That, that there. Is a, got time a, to tie it tonight, Scott. I, I haven't, I haven't got, I haven't got time. I haven't ah. got time, Peter. I, 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 I genuinely root pad for you. You see this here? This is lethal for fresh fish, especially over here. Excuse me, beg your pardon. Yeah, I love the wing on in, it. In, in, yeah, if you're fishing in Northern Ireland, or you're fishing in the Republic, any of the Irish rivers, it's an absolutely deadly, deadly fly for, for grills. And another one there that I tied recently for a guy, and I put this on YouTube so that people can tie it for themselves. People look past this, and marabou has been used in Atlantic salmon flies for generations. That's the the marabou shrimp. Um, yet again, red. What what you're saying to Pete uh, is the makes of the foil system, which is in Northern Ireland. Um, peaty water. It's real. It's coming off peat. Coming. It, so it, the it, it's coming through. Bunny Gaul in the south, and then the river running through into the north. And red is a it's an absolute fantastic color for Atlantic salmon. But that's a great wee fly. And the next time Derek invites me on, I'll 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 tie that one for you too. Thank you very much. So, but if you want it, if you can't wait until then, it's on my YouTube channel. Feel free. You don't have to subscribe. It's there for you. If you just want to go and use it, if you want to know how to dress the patterns, it's there. If you just want to check it out. Do you ever fish down at Newcastle, Scott? Newcastle County Down? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we, we used to go down there years ago for the tea trout, Derek. Yeah, it's um, awesome. Yeah, we used to go down there years ago for the sea trout, and we also used to go to Carlingford Lock. Okay. Yeah. If you're into your sea, yep. If you're into your sea trout fishing, um, sea bass, you can obviously you can spin for them as well. But you can also uh, fly fish for them. Just waiting out here. Right. And then you just can I can believe them. watching them coming up the estuary off the old bridge. Yeah. If you if you just go if you go down if down to the lakes of there, um, down to uh, Newcastle or sorry Carlingford. Carlingford's an absolute fantastic lake. Um, or sorry, fantastic part of the law. It's into the sea to fish for sea bass and sea trout. And it's completely free. It's completely free. Whereas if you're going to fish, let's say the lakes of uh, the Bally Shannon estuary, which is just over the border at the lake uh, in Northern Ireland, uh, I, think there's, I think it's 40, 45 euro. Uh, the fish, the estuary, and you'll get some fantastic sea trout um, out of that estuary. It's absolutely fantastic. So it is. So um, I've never yeah. seen anything like it. No, <laughs> no there's, oh, like there's some, there's some great. Uh, oh, listen, see, see, Ireland as a whole, the island, yeah, it's got right. the best. It's got the best fishing out of out of. All the islands in the, in the mainland uh, in relation to game fish, but hasn't been looked after. And now we're starting to see the consequences of mm. not being looked after. And mm. I think we'll be lucky uh, if it's here for the next generation. I really do. Mm. I think we're going to rely more and more on stalking. And it'll be a shame to stalk natural Irish lakes. It'll just that they, they tried it here before. There was a government department of decal, department of, department of culture, arts and leisure. And they used to have a hatchery on Loch Earn. And they weren't actually uh, taking the fruit stock from the, the feeder streams that run into Loch Earn, the likes of the Cache River, the Coalbrook, uh, and, and those rivers there are. They were actually taking them and stripping Balligan. And then patching Balligan back into Loch Bay, eh? or sorry, into Loch Burn. I can tell you guys, Balligan bottom feeders, they will not raise the fly. 
they'll not come up till they fly. And that's why you have to tackle them at night. Then when you're in when they're in the rivers, because you can actually get at them. They're coming up to this this bond the way I was yesterday evening. However, the boys and I have been uh, sort of a switched on probably the last uh, three, four years um, of we can actually get them during the day pack nymphing with the the tungsten the tungsten bead heads that you down through the Dalican. Um, and there, there's a couple of good guys on YouTube if you're interested in Dalican fishing and some cracking videos on it. Uh, there's a young other male. He's a guide on the, the six male. And uh, there's another guy there, uh, Andrew Ball. And Andrew's on YouTube and he's got a couple of videos there of um, Dalican fishing. And the Dalican's good crack. It is good crack. It's actually if you get the right night for it. We had a good night last night. I went up, there was, I think it was about four or five of us there, starting to get dark, I had good crack, I had a bit of crack, a few cracked a few jokes, bit of a laugh, messing about, and then we'll, we'll get into the fishing, we'll get into the serious stuff, you know, but uh, yeah, and I just look, just guys, just get again for repeat myself, thanks for inviting me on, I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks Scott. Thank, Thank you very much. See you next time. Thanks Scott. Thank you Scott. Thanks very much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, Scott. Yeah.